Ivy from Travis, everybody. Yeah. You always oh. are a pair of smilers when you come on, I've got to say. Yeah, but as we said earlier, inside... Oh, we're crying all crying. the time. It's crying. It's a tragedy, isn't down. it? Now, listen, we haven't seen you since you went off to America with Dido. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it go? It was amazing. It was... Uh, we... We, uh, how many weeks did we do? We did Dido? five weeks with Dido, and it was probably one of the best tours we've done. It was just brilliant fun. They're lovely people. All her, her and all her band were great. Yeah, and, and is it true that you headlined as well? Well, we did. We went back again in October, and we headlined like a, a big um, sort of tour of our own. We played in New York about two, three weeks after the big mad thing happened there, and it was strange. It was really sad. It's totally changed city now. Yeah. It's, it's weird. And where did you play when you we played? We played at Radio City Music Hall, right. which is the most Gorgeous. Um... Stop giggling, you lot. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting him off. Um, the, the, uh, it's the most gorgeous place. It's beautiful. Yeah. Now, listen, last time you were here, you were telling us that you had some very famous fans, that Julia Roberts was mm -hmm. a bit of a fan. Oh, that was mental. Well, yeah. that's, that's, that's pretty good, you know. Absolutely. That's pretty good. So, is there any more big American stars that we should hear about? Should you... George Lucas. George Lucas. Creator of Star Wars. Which was no, amazing. No. He came to one of the shows with his daughter. And she's a big fan and we kind of made fools of ourselves. Kind of, we think you're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? He was just sort of looking at us going, oh, no, not another bunch <laughs> of guys that were born 1970, sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> George. Oh. <laughs> but so did Julia come to any of your gigs? No, I don't think she did, but she came to... She was on Letterman, the same David Letterman show yeah. at the same time as us, so she stood on stage and watched the sound check and then kind of introduced us. Which was she quite introduced amazing. you guys. Yeah. yeah, she asked them. She was going, "Oh, let me do this and everything." And then, and then afterwards, she she brought her CD up and she's like, "Could you sign this for us?" And we were all like, <gasps> oh, "I will think did you, about did it." Did you do a swap in return? Um, what for? For her autograph. <laughs> oh, for her autograph. All <laughs> oh, right, no. <laughs> Play it cool. I know. Yeah, I was just it, you know? so cool. so so shocked. You know, it's yeah. kind of the thing. Now, like... is it also true that people think that you are actually called Travis as well? Even in even in in Britain now, still. No. Yeah. It yeah. can't still be in Britain. I thought it was just. I was at the that. airport yesterday, and some guys were like, "Hey, Travis," and I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> "It's like when they call Coronation Street actors their names, mm. isn't it?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, we've had loads of text messages okay. from fans. This first one is from Pete. Look how you all move and adjust. OK, we're well, preparing ourselves. New set of questions. Good. OK, this is from Pete, <clears> and he said, how did you feel when David Beckham copied your haircut? As, um, I thought it was, it was, it was brilliant, because he is the best footballer that we've got. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and, uh, but the thing is, like, he, he, he can actually grow his hair long and short and do whatever he likes, but mine's is just set in this one thing and it won't ever do anything else. Bless him. See, now, we're there thinking you're being, you know, you're trying to be a bit cool and you are, you know, and really it's just because you can't do anything else. Can't do anything else with it. <laughs> but I've lost, I've lost the, mo the mohawk and stuff, I got rid of that, because I uh, was walking down streets and like, everyone had, like, pink or white mohawks and yeah. I was thinking, oh, God, this is ridiculous. You'll have to spawn another trend soon. <laughs> mm. Next one. Next one is from Rachel, and uh, she says, "Fran, you're getting married this year. Is it going to be a big posh and Beck style do?" Uh, I don't think it would. No. I... Really, you surprised <laughs> me. Tell so the truth. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Thrones gonna... have got on order. Yeah, we're going to get married on a, on an island in the middle of uh, uh, Queens Park in Glasgow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a total lie. That was just made up. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it quiet. I'm, I'm always find weddings really quite, you know, all that mad fuss and everything. So yeah. we'll do it quiet probably. Okay. Well, thank you. We wish you good luck with it. I'm sorry it's been so short to chat to you so this morning. Nice. That's it. It's Fran and <laughs>